the fighting Quakers. Now, doesn't that sound inconsistent? Everyone knows that Quakers traditionally are pacifists, but that's not all that doesn't add up about these Quakers. We hear more about them tonight from Douglas Kiker. You're a college football player, and you kick the winning field goal in a big game. You're a big man on campus, right? Not necessarily. Not if you play for Swarthmore. Swarthmore College is one of the very best undergraduate colleges in this country, a school renowned for its academic excellence, bright kids. And what's more, this year they also have one hell of a football team. Swarthmore's fighting little Quakers, as they are called, are undefeated and ranked eighth in the NCAA's Division III. But the fighting little Quakers have an image problem. Most of their fellow students are enthusiastic fans, but others, along with some faculty members, believe the team's success detracts from Swarthmore's distinguished academic reputation. Tensions do exist, and it is something the college is going to be discussing. I'm sure that there are some people that aren't crazy about the football team, but I don't, they don't act on those feelings. I think most people still worry about their work more than anything else. Theology teacher Patrick Henry says some believe the team has just been getting too much attention. We find that nobody is paying any attention much to our other excellences. It's when we have an undefeated football team that the national press and television is here to talk to us. Coach Tom Lipinski says it's frustrating to be criticized for winning. The vast majority of the students are, are positive. Uh, the vast majority of the faculty is very positive. But nevertheless, there still is that segment, that hardcore segment, which, which definitely feel negative towards the football program. Swarthmore is anything but a college football factor. There are no football scholarships. Every team member met Swarthmore's rigid entrance requirements, and the coaches only work part-time. No football factory, but they're doing something right. They're winning games. On Saturday, the fighting little Quakers will meet their arch rival, Widener University. If they win, they'll go on to compete in the National Division III playoffs. Most students here at Swarthmore hope they will win, but there are those who would be just as happy to go back to the good old days when Swarthmore had the longest losing streak in the nation and nobody cared. Douglas Kiker, NBC News, Swarthmore, Pennsylvania. Well, during the 60s, Swarthmore students at least had a sense of humor about their team and its nickname. One of their favorite cheers was, come on, Quakers, kill, kill, kill. That's nightly news for this Friday night. I'm Tom Brokaw in New York. Have a nice weekend, Roger.